Okay, I've thought about it. We are on the page escape shell command. And I'm talking about the example here. Okay, escape shell command escapes this string. This string is a command. The command is basically the dot configure command on the shell and a bunch of arguments. These arguments come from a form field which the user filled out. So the argument list is taken as is from the user and concatenated with the dot configure command to form one string which is the command. So the escaped command is going to be the command and then you run the escape shell command function on it. And then you use the escape command in a system function call. So that's it for escape shell command. Let's go back to program execution. All right, the next function. Okay, this is program execution functions. Okay, the next function we're going to talk about is exec. The exec function. Execute an external program. Let me just show an example here. Echo exec who am I? Who am I is a command that you would issue at the shell command prompt in bash. So you are in PHP. You're going to call the PHP function exec who am I and that will return a string and you will echo out that string. So exec takes a string which is the command that you want to run as if you are running it at the shell command prompt. Then there are some optional parameters for the exec function. Okay, the second argument is dollar $output and it's an array and it's passed by reference. Output. If the output argument is present, then the specified array will be filled with every line of output from the command. Trailing whitespace such as end of line is not included in this array. Note that if the array already contains some elements, exec will append to the end of the array. That's because it's passed by reference. If you do not want the function to append elements, call unset on the array before passing it to exec. Now, if you have the output argument, you can also have a return var argument, which is an integer. If the return var argument is present along with the output argument, then the return status of the executed command will be written to this variable. Return values, the last line from the result of the command. So the value returned by calling the exec function, which is a str the returned value is a string, and that will be the last line from the result of the command. Remember, the result of the command, if you want all of it, you would have to use the dollar $output argument, which collects the output in an array. So the return value is the last line from the result of the command. If you need to execute a command and have all the data from the command passed directly back without any interference, use the pass through function. What they mean by interference, this exec function interferes because it returns the output in a particular way, specifically using this argument and the return value. The pass through function does things differently, so you may want to consider using that one instead of the exec function. To get the output of the executed command, be sure to set the, and use the output parameter. In other words, if you want all of the output, not just the last line, then use the output parameter, which is up here. Okay, this is a very simple example. The exec function is just given a command, and that command always returns just one line, and that line is echoed out. Notes. Warning. When allowing user supplied data to be passed to this function, use escape shell arg or escape shell command to ensure that users cannot trick the system into executing arbitrary commands. Note, if a program is started with this function, in order for it to continue running in the background, the output of the program must be redirected to a file or another output stream. Failing to do so will cause PHP to hang until the execution of the program ends. Let me tell you what I think this means. I'm going to read it piece by piece. If a program is started with this function, in order Okay, so let's say the program is dialog. So if a program, which is the dialog program, is started with this function, in order for it to continue running, in other words, in order for your script, which contains the call to dialog, in order for that to continue running in the background, the output of the program, and that would be dialog, must be 
redirected to a file or another output stream. Failing to do so will cause PHP to hang until the execution of the program ends.